The first time Aisha Nabukera appeared in public following a fire incident that nearly took her life 12 years ago, it was an emotional moment for many. <laughs> At that time, police and investigative journalists were on an overdrive seeking information from all sources on the gruesome incident. However, all they got were denials from the suspects. <laughs> The number of sympathizers supported Nabukera financially and emotionally. Businessman Frank Gashumba took her as a guardian. The girl from a rural family in Masaka became part of his household in Kampala and he enrolled her in a new school after recovering from her burns. When time came for Nabukera to join secondary school, the founder of St. Lawrence Schools and Colleges, the late Lawrence Muchibi, offered her scholarship in one of his schools. She, she performed well in P7, senior four, and you expect better things in senior six. From senior six, we expect her to graduate. After graduation, we expect her to go back and change the lives of people of Uganda. <laughs> On 7th July, Nabukera achieved one of her biggest dreams when she graduated with a degree in social work and social administration of Uganda Christian University, Mokono. I confirm upon all those persons of the Nisa the degree of social work and social administration of Uganda Christian University. It feels great because it has been my dream of graduating. She spoke of her long arduous journey to graduation. My first day at campus, everyone, you know, I, I entered late, I found when everyone was settled, and then, like, all of them stared at me. But anyway, I, I, I sat in front and then waited for the lecture to end, um, and I got out, like, without talking to anyone. And why did she choose to pursue a degree in social work and social administration? I'm so passionate about uh, kids, uh, children, and I wanted to do something connected to, um, connected to people helping. The fire had a huge impact on Nabukera's skin and body, but she says many people she met did not see her in a different light. She appreciates the gesture. I was able to interact with different people, yeah, and I got used. With a degree to her name, Nabukera has not yet received any job offers, but she has some ideas on what to do. Yeah, I'm jobless, but I have some, um, some uh, foundation. It's called Aisha Nabukera Foundation. Uh, we started that with a few friends of mine in, in um, our first year. And that foundation, its aim is to advocate for children's rights and then... Uh, yeah, fighting against um, child abuse, giving charity to those who are really in need. Yeah, sensitization. Sensitiz uh, Nabukera pledges to do her best to ensure that no child goes through her traumatizing experience. She urges government to strengthen policies and laws to check child abuse. I believe it's the government's role to protect its citizens, including yeah, children. She forgave her stepmother, who she accuses of causing her pain and trauma. I then asked Nabukera a personal question. <laughs> yes, I'll get married, yeah, when the right person comes. With this degree, Nabukera says one of her biggest dreams has been achieved. From an unfortunate past to a bright present to a hopeful future. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.